Hi, I'm Kai and today I want to show you an example for the new calculation possibilities in ePlan 2024. With these new possibilities you can make calculations in your electrical drawings and as an example we want to calculate a total current of devices which are connected to one MCB and we want to check if the total current of the devices is higher than the nominal current of the MCB. In case that we have an overload we want to show this with a clear text. So stay tuned. So what we want to do is that we want to calculate the total current of these three devices here and we want to compare it with the nominal current of this MCB. In case the nominal current of the MCB is lower than the total current of these three devices or it depends how many devices we have connected, we want to indicate an overcurrent or an overload of the MCB and we want to show a text here that an overcurrent is present. To do this we add block properties. So we click on our MCB and here on the properties we need to add block property formats. So when we scroll down we find here block property format and in total we want to use three of them. So we add this three and we go to the tab display and here we need to add block properties as well. But here we just want to have the values. So we use block properties and not block properties format. In case you want to learn more about block properties, I put you the link to my playlist below in the video description. So in the next step, we want to add here on the block property format one, the calculation of the total current of the connected devices. So we click here on the more button and when we scroll down here, we can find the calculation. With the arrow, we can move it to the right side. And here we want to start with a property because we are now on the MCB, but we need the current of the first device. So move, move it to the right side. And now we want to jump to our retail device. So we go to the last function via connection point and target number and connection point 2. The connection point 2 is here the lower connection of the MCB and you can see that the target 1 is our X1 L1 on EC1. Luckily we can see in the newer versions of ePlan the result so you can see where you are and we want to go to the next level. So now we are on this connection point here then we go to the main function go to the next level and from the main function we want to have from the part the total current. So we can search for current and for sure you have to add these values to your parts database otherwise you will not get these values. So we have here now our first property and now we need to go to the next device which is connected. So we want to have the next property and basically it's the same. So we go to the last function, connection point two. Now we are here on the X1 and now we need to jump to the next connection point. So we go to last function, connection point one and here you can see that target two is the easy two. So the next device which is connected. We go to the next level, then we go to the main function and to the part and search for the current again and we have in total three devices so we need to do it again last function we are on easy one then we go to the last function connection one target two is easy two and when we select the same again, you can see here EC3. This was our last device. In the next step, we go to main function from the EC3 and select from the part the current again. And now we need to add the operation. So we want we want the sum, so 
we select this and place it with the arrow on the right positions. Click OK and here you can see a preview of the value or here. We click OK and apply and OK. And because we added on the tab view already the block property one, you can see the total current here. So when I interrupt now a connection, for example, this one, go to connection and update, you can see that now the value changed to 0 0.43. What is the current of one device? So when I delete this interruption and update the connection, you have the total current of three of them. In the next step, we want to compare this value with the nominal current of the MCB. So therefore we go to the block property format two, and here we need to do a calculation. And what we need here is the block property one from the MCB, because there is the value stored what we have calculated. So therefore we go here to the function, as you can see, this is F2 or MCB, and we go to general function, and here we can search for the block properties. And you can see the value here, and this is the block property one. We click OK. And in the next step, we need the nominal current of the MCB. So this is basically a property. We are already on the MCB, so we can go to parts and look here for the current. So, and now we want to have a comparison operation. So that means we select this one, place it on the right position and click OK. So on the preview, you can see that it the value can be just zero or one. In the moment, 1.29 amps is bigger than the one amp from the MCP. So it's one. If it's lower, it will become zero. We click apply and OK and can see also here on our MCP the block property two. When I interrupt the connection again and click on update, you can see that it's getting to zero. And now we want to add a text so that we get clearly shown that an overload is present. So therefore we go to file and to our project management and we go to edit. And here we need to add the block property replacement text three. If you don't have it here already, you can add it over the new button here. And here we can add a list where we can exchange the source text with an output text. So our source text of the block property two is one or zero. And the output text should be overload. Or if the result is zero, we want to have nothing. So we click OK and save it. We can close the project management go back to our MCB. And here we want now to go to the format block property three. Here we don't need to add a calculation. What we need to select here is basically that we want to have the value of the block property two. So we select here the block property two and here we can find the replacement text. And here we select our table three, what we have created before, and click OK. And you can see already in the preview that the overload will be shown on our MCB. I click OK, and I go to the display tab and make a little bit changes on the format. I want to have it a little bit bigger and in red. and maybe bold, click apply and OK. And you can see that now we have the text overload. When I interrupt our connection here, you will not see the overload text.
So in the last step, we delete here under the display tab the block property too and click OK. So now you have the possibility, depending on your functionality, if you have one, two, or three fans on your control panel, that you automatically get a monitoring function if you have an overload on your MCB. What do you think about the new calculation possibilities in ePlan 2024? Is it much too complicated, or do you use it already and have some applications? Please write it below in the video. If you can't get enough from ePlan, I recommend you to watch this video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe and push the notifications. And I'm always looking forward for more channel members. Hope to see you in the next video.